Crowds of people wearing masks to hide their faces are set to peacefully march in hundreds of cities all around the world. It's dubbed the Million Mask March. The action's been organized by the hacktivist Anonymous Group. And the event's held annually on November the 5th in protest against austerity, mass surveillance and attacks on privacy. So that's how the march looked last year. But let's show you the map that gives you an idea of the true scale of today's event. It is massive. Hundreds of thousands have signed up online, with many more expected to just simply turn up. But what do we know at this point about Anonymous? It's an international group of hacktivists with no clear leader. They say their goal is to fight government corruption, company wrongdoings, and state surveillance by launching online attacks. Like on Sony. When 10 million PlayStation accounts were hacked over claims of abusing customers' rights. Members have been arrested around the world in the UK, Italy, Spain, Turkey and America because in some countries they are considered cyber criminals. And that was particularly the case over the disruption caused to Visa, MasterCard and PayPal websites because the three stopped transactions to WikiLeaks. That cost millions of dollars in damage. In another show of uh, support for freedom of information, the group hacked the websites of the FBI and the Department of Justice over the closure of the uh, file-sharing website MegaUpload.com. And here on RT International, we spoke to Old Holborn, a UK blogger and member of Anonymous. He says they just want governments to leave people alone. The internet has the power to bring down regimes. That's why it terrifies them. That's why they now monitor all of our phone calls, they monitor our emails, and they monitor our free speech. It terrifies them. They have no particular jurisdiction over the internet. It belongs to everyone. We're not looking for a unified alternative. What we're looking for is for government to leave us alone. It's that simple. That's why we don't have leaders. It's, it's everybody. Anonymous is whatever you want it to be. The internet is the greatest tool that we have for free speech anywhere on the planet. We all have a voice now. Seven billion of us. Yes, of course, somebody's going to get upset at, at, at anything that somebody else says. But we have to realise we all have a voice. We're all equal. If you don't like it, don't listen to it. That's freedom of choice and freedom of expression.